I was born in the 80s, and I feel lucky to have grown up in a time when so many iconic Happy Meal toys were released. As a kid, I was able to collect characters from the Muppet Babies, Fraggle Rock, and Garfield to name a few. But my all-time favorite Happy Meal toys were released in 1990, and they were based on the Super Mario Bros. 3 Nintendo game. This Happy Meal set featured Mario, Luigi, a Goomba, and a Koopa Paratroopa. Each of the toys had their own little action feature, allowing them to jump, flip, and drive around, which made them a lot of fun to play with. Now, around that same time, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were also extremely popular. Everyone was talking about the cartoon, the action figures, and the playsets. And when the movie came out, turtle power took over the whole world. So for today's project, I'm going to combine two of my favorite franchises, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Super Mario Brothers. I'm going to make miniature versions of these Happy Meal toys, and then I'll place them in a one-quarter scale McDonald's restaurant diorama. I'll then place the Ninja Turtles into the scene, and finally I'll take a photo to create a nostalgic piece of art. Now before I start building anything, let's take a quick look at the action figures that I'll be using. These are the one-quarter scale Ninja Turtles movie figures made by NECA Toys, and they are big. The figures stand around 16 to 17 inches tall. I've used them a lot in my toy photography projects over the years because they look amazing. It's as if they stepped right out of the movie and into my hands, and these are some of my favorite action figures of all time. Okay, so I've got the figures ready. Now it's time to start the building process. I'll begin by making miniature versions of these Happy Meal boxes. I'll start by taking one of the boxes and unfolding it so that I can then lay it flat onto the bed of my scanner. I can only scan a portion of the box at a time, but I'll be able to take the images and stitch them together into a template, which I will print out in one quarter scale. I'm printing these onto satin photo paper, which has a semi-gloss finish to it that's somewhat similar to the original boxes. Finally, I'll cut out the templates, fold them, and glue the ends together to finish the boxes. So these are the finished Happy Meal boxes. They were fairly straightforward to make, and you can use the same process to make miniature versions of pretty much any box that you can think of. Now, the next part is gonna take a little bit more work. We're gonna make some miniature versions of these toys using a 3D scanner and a 3D printer. First, I like to spray the figure with a temporary scanning spray. This makes it easier for the scanner to capture sections that might be dark or reflective. This coating evaporates after a few hours, so it doesn't permanently alter the toy. I'm using the Revelpoint Mini 3D Scanner to generate a 3D model of the toy. If you want more information about this device, check out this video on my channel, which goes into more detail. These are the 3D models that I captured, and next I'll send the files over to my resin 3D printer to print them out in one quarter scale. I'm using the frozen water washable resin, which was provided by today's sponsor, Resins3D.com. I like using this type of resin because it simplifies the cleaning process. After your models have been printed and it's time to wash them, you can just use water instead of other substances like isopropyl alcohol. For a limited time, you can get a 10% discount on the frozen water washable resin when you use the code DwayneToysWW when you're checking out on Resins3D.com. Go check out their website for all your resin 3D printing needs. Once the models are finished, I'll finally cure them with UV light to complete the 3D printing process. So these are the miniature Happy Meal toys that I 3D printed. I think they turned out pretty nice, especially considering how small they are. Next, I'll need to paint them. I'll start by spraying on a layer of primer, and then I'll apply some acrylic paint. I'm not using any kind of fancy paint. These are just cheap acrylic bottles that I picked up from Walmart and the dollar store. Luckily, the original toys don't have a complicated color pattern on them, so they were relatively easy to paint. After painting the toys, I sprayed on a layer of Mr. Super Clear Gloss Spray for protection and to give them a bit of a shiny finish. And these are the completed mini Happy Meal toys. One thing you'll see is that I added some small wire to the bottom of the Mario toy to replicate the spring. It doesn't actually function, but it looks more like the original toy this way. And I also used some yellow polymer clay to mimic the tube that's found on the Koopa Paratroopa. I printed out some little info sheets for them and put them in some tiny plastic bags. 
And I also managed to make this miniature promotional wall display for the toys. I basically found images online, did some editing, and assembled everything together to create it. And I used some packaging from an old toy to create the plastic cover. Now the time has come to make the food, so let's bring on the polymer clay. After cutting up the clay, I shaved up some chalk pastels and used them to add a bit more of a natural color to the food, and then I baked the pieces in the oven to harden the clay. These are my completed Happy Meals. You'll notice that I made a few additional items that I'll go over right now. I 3D printed some trays along with some vintage placemats. I also 3D printed these drink cups and wrapped the McDonald's graphics around them. I made some wrappers for the burgers and fries out of paper. I made some vintage cookie boxes and ketchup packets. And finally, of course, I had to make some classic McDonald's pizza boxes since the turtles love pizza. So these are gonna be the main details in the scene. Now what's left is to build a backdrop for the scene and I'll be doing that with some 3D printed parts as well as some foam board and paper. Now that everything is in place, I'll take a photo with my camera to end up with this. Oh man, this takes me back to my childhood. If time machines were real, I would totally go back to this time period in an instant. Anyway, let me know what your favorite Happy Meal toys are and check out more of my work on Instagram, TikTok, and all my other social media accounts. I'll see you next time.